Hi everyone. I haven't really filmed a whole lot today because I have not been feeling well. I have about an hour and 15 minutes left in my work day. It's been a struggle. My voice, as you guys can probably tell, is still not great. Um, last night, right after we finished recording, I went upstairs, I took a shower, and sat down to meal plan and do my grocery list. And my whole, this whole cold just moved right into my face. So I'm now really congested and it's all like, yeah. But thank you all so much for your well wishes. I really appreciate them. I'm really hoping I'm better for Christmas. But I just wanted to hop on and show you a couple of things. So my, first off, my friend Cassidy, who I work with, I don't think she even knows about this, but if she does and watches, hi Cassidy. Um, she got me, like these were my mailbox today when I got to work. Look at these cute little needle stoppers and I love baby goats. I love goats so much. They're so cute. And she got me little goat needle stoppers. Aren't these adorable? It like made my entire day. They are just the cutest. So thank you, Cassidy. I love them so much. I cannot wait to pop these on a project. Especially because I was just talking about needing more needle stoppers. So that's really good. Also, sorry. Um, I've had to edit out quite a bit of coughing. <laughs> I don't think you guys want to hear that. So I am also... In my sweater bag is not the hat I've been working on. You guys know I finished that. But it's this. So this is the yarn I caked up yesterday. This is Fangirl Fibers on her 8020 sock base in the colorway Are You Satisfied With Your Care? It was part of her 2022 Disney Yarn of the Month Club, which I participated in. And it's inspired by Big Hero 6. I just think it's so pretty. And it's not a Christmas colorway, but it is kind of Christmassy. There's an ornament on my tree. Maybe when I'm home on Friday during daylight, I can show you guys. This could have been inspired by that ornament. It's really, really close in color. But they're, they're sort of Christmassy colors to me. So I started yesterday this sock. So this pattern is not out yet. I am testing this for Megan of the Fibromancer podcast. Um, I don't remember what her name is, what her channel is on here, but it is linked down below. It's one of the many vlogmases I have linked, which by the way, I've been adding some just about every day. So definitely go down and check some of those people out. Uh, but anyways... She is coming out with her first sock pattern in January. I think January. So she was looking for testers and I'm testing it. So this is the streamer sock. And so far I really like it. It's a really easy um, to memorize, repeat, just a textured sock. And it's a great way to use up a skein from Stash. So that's my sock I have going and I don't remember who made my stitch marker, but it was part of a Schitt's Creek um, yarn club I did at one point with Lady Dye Yarns. It says Franz. I love it. So that's what I've been working on. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, everyone. We are home from a long day at work. For me, it was very long. Yeah. Uh, it's like 9.15. We just called my grandpa for his birthday today. <sighs> I was able to see my brother this morning and have donuts with him for his birthday. So that was good. Um, as you could probably tell, I'm very congested. <laughs> I feel pretty miserable. Um, I think we're just going to get to the admins. I'm so sorry. I really didn't feel much today. Um, I was just trying to make it through the day. <laughs> Uh, but I have, I did have that clip, hopefully you've already seen it, um, talking about my knitting I'm currently working on. I also have been working for the past month, maybe, 
on and off on a blanket that I haven't talked about a whole lot on the podcast. It's an older whip from way before I started the podcast. So um, I did make a little clip of myself talking about that uh, earlier in December that I didn't use. So I'm going to pop that in after this video. Um, I'll just pop that in there so there's at least a little something more exciting for you. Uh, but let's just get to the advents now. Are you ready? And I'm sorry about the coughing. I'm going to try and edit out if I can, but... Do you know today's... Or do you need to look? I need to look. Oh, we we know this one. We both know this one. We both know this one. Yes, so okay. this is a good one. Oh, I'm not going to say the... Okay. You know what? I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to give... I'll just give you a little hint. Oh, this is... Is that like a light... Pink. Okay, Very I thought pale so. pink. This is the most appropriate colorway out of all of Toy Story that we could possibly have today. Today of all days, this is like... Oh, and there's like a little hint of silver in here too. Like just a tiny little bit. Oh, there, there. is. Yeah, in there. This is the most appropriate colorway for today. Toy Story character, go. And this character is in all of the movies. In all of the movies. Mm -hmm. Have I mentioned this character in our past guesses? I don't believe so, no. Okay. But think about today and what to what today is. And who would be, of all of the characters in Toy Story, like, the most appropriate one today? I mean, I know what today is, but I cannot think of who this is. What is my grandpa's favorite animal? Oh! Ham. Yep. There we it's go. It's ham. The piggy <laughs> bank. My grandpa turned 90 today, um, and so I think it's really appropriate that the colorway, he loves pigs, yes. that's his favorite animal, always has been, so I think it's really cool that of all days, today is the piggy bank, him. I love that. That makes me happy. Oh, my eye is watering now. You guys, this cold is just no joke. Nope. There you go. Okay, day 20. Oh, that's why this is familiar. It's Sleigh Ride. Oh. We, ha we have a large bag of Sleigh Ride, so... This we'll show it to you. Yeah, we'll show it to you. I can't smell anything. I'm so congested. Okay, but I can't... I'm sure... I know it smells, because I've smelled it before. But I just, my nose is so clogged. But this is an herbal tea. Um, this is like nice tea. <laughs> and I'm not going to drink the nice tea right now when I can't even like enjoy it. So, yeah. <clears throat> so if we do tea tonight, which honestly at this point, I don't know that we will. Um, and I've been drinking tea all day long. Uh, if we do tea at this point, I'm going to just have a generic whatever brand because I can't really. Everything tastes really weak to me at the moment just because I'm like. Pfft. Lunch I went to with my department to welcome a new member to our department. We ended up going to a place called Johnny J's. It's in Strongsville, Ohio. Um I guess it's like an Irish pub kind of place. Um, their food's pretty good. I had a, what was it? The grilled cheese cheeseburger. It uh, looked really good from the picture you sent me. Yeah, maybe I'll send it. Well, you, I don't know if you want to use that or not, but. Uh, sure, why not? We need content <laughs> today. <laughs> um, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, otherwise... That was the only exciting part about my day. And you grocery shopped. Which I might add, I only missed one thing out of my long grocery, out of my long list that I had. Well, you didn't miss it. They didn't have it. I, That's not the same thing. 
That's not your fault. No, no. But otherwise, it went pretty well. Okay. Right. I'm ready to go. I was going to say, I think we're about ready to wrap it up. I, you guys, I look worse. Like, I don't know. How am I? Words I, are hard. I feel worse <laughs> than I look, and I feel worse than I sound. Uh, when I rewatched last night's stuff back, I was like, oh, I sound really bad. And I feel like today I sound even worse. And ugh. Anyway, I hope all of you are well. Thank you again for all of your kind get well wishes. I really appreciate them. I just need to power through tomorrow. And then I can be back to resting and recuperating. So we're going to go. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Even though I'm not podcasting today, I thought I would talk a little bit about a work in progress that I've been working on a lot for the last maybe month or so, and I'm not sure I've ever shown this on the podcast. So this was the Marley Bird Tournament of Stitches project for 2021, and it is a throw blanket. It's knit modularly. Is that a word? It's a modular blanket. And I really love how it's coming out. I just put it down. I had started this right after I became full time and just didn't pick it back up. I had about had gotten from about here over that half finished. And now I have the other half finished, which is really just a quarter of the blanket. So, uh, this will mirror on the other side to form a large square blanket and then a border goes on and that's it. The pattern is still free on her website, marleybird.com, if you're interested. I know I use Knitpicks Brava 500, which is 500 grams of each color, so I will have a lot left over. Um, I'll probably do another blanket or something. It's a little hard to see because the Christmas tree is filtering out the light, but there are five different colors in the blanket. So I'm sure you guys will be seeing more progress on this in the weeks to come.